Hi guys! In my last video I mentioned that I might have a little bit of a surprise in store for you this weekend. And uh, well, this is that surprise. I'll be spending this weekend here on the Faroe Islands. The Faroe Islands consists of 18 major islands located about 200 miles north-northwest of Scotland, out in the middle of the North Atlantic. The land is rugged and the weather is windy, wet, cloudy and cold. Sure, you could find better weather elsewhere on the planet, but the scenery is second to none. The islands cover about 1400 square kilometers or 541 square miles and house around 50,000 people. Next weekend I'll be back aboard Athena. And if you're new to my channel, Athena is a 38 foot sailboat that I'm busy doing a somewhat extensive refit on. Right now I'm about to replace all of the rotten or delaminated core in the deck. But uh, that's not what this weekend is about. This weekend is about relaxing and hanging out with friends. You might be wondering what friends I could be visiting here on the Faroe Islands, but I think some of you might already have guessed it because I've posted a few hints on Facebook. The friends I'll be visiting live and cruise aboard this lovely looking West Sail 42 named Paragon. I'm sure most of you guys have guessed who they are by now because they also have a YouTube channel. And in fact, their channel is my all time favorite YouTube channel and also the primary reason I started uploading videos in the first place. But uh, let's go ahead and see if they're home. Ooh, hey! Welcome to the Faroe Island. Come aboard, Matt. Woo! Thank you so much for inviting me aboard Paragon. It's amazing to finally be here in real life. We are so excited that you were able to come and visit us here in the Faroe Islands. Yeah, we've been looking forward to this for a really long time. Welcome aboard Paragon, and welcome to the Faroe Islands. For anyone not familiar with you guys and what you're doing, why don't you just give a quick introduction? Okay, uh, my name's Drake Roberts, and welcome aboard our sailboat and home. Her name is Paragon. She's a West Sail 42 that was made in 1976. I have been living aboard sailboats for the past 23 years. And my name is Monique. I have been living aboard sailboats for the past seven years. We left America aboard this boat in 2013 and sailed north to Canada, Greenland, Iceland, Ireland, and beyond. And we're currently in the Faroe Islands. And our plan is to sail from the Faroe Islands, where we are right now, to Svalbard, which is... Big sail. <laughs> yeah, about 1,200 nautical miles away. It's about 600 miles from the North Pole, right in between Norway and the North Pole. We plan to voyage around there for about a month and a half, and then our plan is to sail to northern Norway and get settled down for the winter. Yeah. Hope to spend the winter there and see what it's like living in total darkness for a change. Mm. Should be an adventure. Drake and Mo are going to show me around Vestmana and show me why this is one of their favorite places here on the Faroe Islands. This was the first harbor that we arrived in when we first came to Faroe. Everything was new and it was such a striking environment. The cliffs just shot straight out of the ocean. We came in. As soon as we tied up, uh, one of the locals, a gentleman named Torbjörn, came, introduced himself. We started talking. Since then, we have made such wonderful friends here. We keep on coming back every year. This is our third time that we've been here and the people are some of the nicest people that we've met. I find one of the things when we're cruising, it can be difficult to make uh, friends that you see time and time again. And that's been the one different thing about Vesmana and Pharaoh is the friends that we've made here, we've kept them and kept in touch and keep coming back. Every time we come back, there's a door open and welcome for us. And it's probably, probably why we love Vesmana. Besides the fact that it is such a beautiful place, it's also an excellent harbor to come to. It's one of the few winter harbors in the Faroe Islands, which means all of the storms and the very high wind that blows through, we're quite protected here. Great hiking, wonderful people, and just a beautiful place to visit. Good morning, guys. It's the next day. We had a lot of fun yesterday checking out West Mana, and then last night we got invited home to some of Drake and Moe's Ferry's friends and had a lovely dinner there. Today we're going to check out some more sites and I think it's going to be a lot of fun.
So we're here in Saxon, which is a very special place for Drake and I. This was the first place that our friends took us hiking, our very first hike in the Faroe Islands. We spent about 10 hours up in these hills. You see sheep, uh, amazing cliffs, baby skua, large skua protecting their nests. This also used to be a very protected harbor. It has a narrow channel to come in and ships used to refuge here in the middle of storms. However, in uh, I think two or 300 years ago, a massive earthquake created a bit of uh, a tsunami and sand was pushed in and it closed off the entrance to this harbor. There's also a church here. It's very iconic. You've probably seen it in photos. It was originally built in Chutnavik, which is a town not far from here. They disassembled it in the mid 1800s, carried it over the mountains and reassembled it here. If you get a chance, just definitely check it out. It's beautiful. After about a one hour drive, we've made it to Torshavn, which is the capital of the Faroe Islands. And uh, this is the marina. But the main reason I wanted to come here was to check out some sweaters. Sweaters are one of the classical things to shop for up here. But uh, before we go out and spend a lot of money, we better just get a bit of food in our stomachs. And as uh, you can see over here, that's Drake and Mo, and they've picked up a bit of sushi. Considering how popular seafood is up here, it makes sense that you can get good sushi. And this looks awfully good. Mm. Mm. I'm all hopped up on great sushi now, so let's go look at some sweaters. Yes, <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. very, very beautiful. That was a good idea. I think she'll love it. I am all tuckered out after a lot of sweater shopping. I didn't end up getting a sweater for myself, but I got something for someone special. I don't exactly know where we're heading now, but I'm sure it's gonna be somewhere beautiful and picturesque. On our way home to Vestmana, we've stopped by Churchibu, which is, at least from what I've read, the most historically important site on the Faroe Islands. During the Middle Ages, apparently this was the religious and cultural hub of the islands. I don't know a lot about this place, but here on the outskirts of the town are the ruins of the Magnus Cathedral, dating back to around 1300. I don't know if this is intentional, but looking around in here, we found some scary looking faces right over here. To me, that looks like a skull, and a pretty scary looking skull at that. And then further up, there is some kind of ornament. I don't know what this place looked like around 1300, but I can tell you that it's a pretty cool looking ruin. Here behind me, you'll see the Magnus Cathedral that we're just inside. And to my port side, you'll see St. Olaf's Church that dates back to the 12th century. And apparently it is the oldest church still in use here in the Faroe Islands. And also somewhere in this shot is the oldest wooden structure that's still inhabited here in the Faroe Islands. But yeah, I can't really tell which one it is. I'm guessing it's that one. During the Middle Ages, there was around 50 houses here in Chichibu, but the majority of those houses were washed away by a fierce storm in the 16th century. Ah, I am not going to lie. I'm pretty dang tired. It's been a big day for me. So many beautiful sights and so many exciting experiences. It's gonna be nice to get back aboard Paragon and relax for a bit. And, uh, I think Drake has dinner cooking, so why don't we head down below and check? Oh, something smells good. Oh, I hope you enjoy it, Moss. This is one of our favorite meals. It's Japanese steak with rice and Japanese spinach. Ooh, delicious. We'll be drinking some sake this evening with our meal. Yes, we will. Mm -hmm. Have you had sake before? Never. Wow. First time. Yeah. Welcome aboard. Good morning, guys. Today is my last day here in the Faroe Islands. My flight's leaving in about four hours, I think. It's been so much fun being here on the Faroe Islands, visiting Drake and Mo, and they have been amazing hosts. Although you didn't see it in the beginning of the video, Drake and Mo actually picked me up in the airport and then they whisked me around to see all of those beautiful sights that were in the opening of this video. And I mean, the stay here has just been amazing. They're 
super cool people paragon is awesome and the food has been amazing i've just loved every second here i wish i could stay longer and if i ever get the opportunity i would absolutely love to crew aboard paragon that would simply be amazing but uh, sadly today i need to go back home and continue the refit of athena don't get me wrong, I still absolutely love what I'm doing aboard Athena, but it has been nice to get just a little bit of a break. The weekend I've spent here with Drake and Mo is in all likelihood going to be the entirety of my summer vacation this year, or that's to say the entirety of my time away from Athena. In a few minutes, I'm about to sit down with Drake and have a little on-camera chat that I think they plan on publishing on their channel, which I'm sure is gonna be a lot of fun. Before I sit down with Drake to have that little chat, I wanted to be absolutely sure that I got one last little look at the beautiful scenery here in Vestmana. As most of you guys know, I live in Denmark, which to me is kind of flat and also kind of boring. So to come to the Faroe Islands and see this amazing scenery is just well, breathtaking. I better get to that chat I mentioned with Drake and then I'm gonna head to the airport. And just like that, it's the next weekend. Or that's to say it's this weekend because the majority of you guys will see this video in a few hours from now. Long story short, I'm back here in the shed with Athena. I had an absolutely wonderful weekend aboard Paragon. Needless to say, if you guys haven't already, you should head over and check out Drake and Mo's channel. Like I've mentioned, it is my all time favorite cruising channel. There's a link down in the description, and I'll pop out one of those uh, newfangled YouTube cards. The Faroe Islands are a great example of why I'm drawn towards cruising the higher latitudes. The kind people, the amazing scenery, and the rich history all come together to create a destination any cruiser in this part of the world would be lucky to spend months or even years in. Sure, it's not blistering hot there, and the opportunities for bikini clickbait thumbnails are not exactly lining up, but I know for sure that I'll be back there someday aboard Athena. But before that can happen, there's a tiny bit of work to attend to. Since last weekend, as you might be able to make out here behind me, I've removed and replaced the first bit of core in the deck, and it wasn't that difficult. As most of you guys know, I am going to replace the core in the entire deck, and now you might be thinking, wait a minute, that's just a tiny area of that huge area. How come you're excited about that? Well, because first off, you have to start somewhere. And also, I think I'll be able to speed up my process by quite a lot. And I've already picked up a few new tools and some tips that I'm very excited to share with you guys. But that's all gonna have to wait until next weekend. Tomorrow after work, I'm gonna swing by Athena and remove another section of the old core. That way the bottom skin of the sandwich construction will have time to dry out so that I next weekend can replace the core on that section. And then maybe the day after, that would be on Sunday, I can then remove another section of the deck. Then it's just a matter of continuing that process for a number of weeks. And then, et voila, I'll have a brand new deck. Before ending this video, there are two things I want to mention. First up, just in case you found it a little bit odd that I have those tiny canisters of epoxy up on deck, that's just a little bit of leftover epoxy I had laying around that I figured I might as well use while I was waiting for the larger quantity of epoxy I've ordered to show up. Hopefully that epoxy will get here sometime next week. And I've ordered 60 kilos, which should be enough for the deck, and I should even have a tiny bit left over, but we'll see. As for the second thing I wanted to mention, Drake is going to publish the chat him and I had about Paragon on Tuesday on their channel. So in case you guys want to check that out, just keep that in mind. Well guys, that is going to be it for this video. As always, feel free to leave a comment down below. And don't forget, if you've enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like. See you.